Okay, so for the oxygen nitrogen, it's the same thing that we did we did before for the seven gas. So we're going to we're going to fill the syringe again full of oil. So to do the nine gas, you need two syringe full of oil. You need two shake test syringe, one for the seven gas, one for the oxygen nitrogen. So you fill up the syringe, okay? Even if there is air here, you can try to push it out. So we're going to push out the air. Okay. Of oil and close it to remove the oil becoming messy. Okay. Okay. So second syringe is full. Now this time for the oxygen nitrogen, we are going to remove a lot more oil. So we're going to use this little part that comes with the miracle skull to do the squirt test. So what we do is we put this onto the plunger and we're going to remove a large portion of, of oil. So this time we just push out all the oil until the plunger hit the bottom of the syringe. So for the oxygen nitrogen measurement, we keep only this amount of oil compared to the seven gas. And we need to create, again, um, a headspace. Now we cannot use air. If we use air, we're going to bring a lot of oxygen and nitrogen and we will contaminate the result. So what we do is that we use, we use nitrogen. Uh, nitrogen, we use helium, sorry. We use helium into the helium cylinder to create a headspace. So again, what we do here, we remove the pin. You can use one oil trap and you make sure that the valves here are open and you fill it up with helium. So we're going to create a big headspace of helium. The next step we'll do is like we did previously, we'll do a one minute shake, shake test to extract the oxygen nitrogen in the oil into that headspace and we'll inject it into the miracles. So what we're going to do here is close this valve first, close this valve first, and remove the oil trap. So now, again, we have a certain amount of oil, much more larger uh, headspace to take in consideration the very high level of PPM of oxygen nitrogen. So what we're, what we're doing mostly is what we call a dilution. So now what the next step we do is we're going to do the one minute shake, shake test. And again, as you can see, we, we, we dilute you know, the helium inside the oil sample you know, and create a lot of bubbles. So we've done the one minute shake test. So again, then you take your syringe, put it here. Connect it with a brand new oil trap. Again, do not reuse the one that you use 
where for the seven gas. So now you're connected. So we go back to the PPM report. So we're going to go continue to oxygen nitrogen measurement. So you click done. And again, step by step, we'll explain to you exactly what you have to do as far as filling up the syringe using the squirt test part to remove the majority of the oil and fill it up with helium. And then do mostly a shake test for one minute. So this is mostly the same procedure with the oxygen nitrogen from a shake test point of view than you use for the seven gas. So now we are at the measure the oxygen nitrogen. So again, you click next. Next, use a brand new oil trap. And same thing than before. You put the syringe under pressure. You open slowly the valve to make sure that you see, see the oil. You see some oil being picked up here by the, uh, by, uh, the oil trap. You know, let's stop, let's stop it. And you don't, you, you, we don't see any changes in the volume of gas, meaning that there's no leak in the system. Then the next thing is we will purge for 10 seconds. Again, again, you can see more oil that was on the surface here being picked up by the, uh, by the oil trap filter that's becoming dark blue. And then the, then the next, and we inject. So now, in two minutes, we're going to have our full oxygen nitrogen measurement. That will be combined with the other seven gas, and then you have your full set, uh, nine gas DG analysis done by the Miracles. So the next step again, like before, we remove the pressure on the syringe. You close the valve just as a precaution, and we're going to wait for the results. So now we got our uh, oxygen nitrogen measurement. So you click next. So here's your result. Uh, frankly, it makes sense. In general, you always have three times more nitrogen than oxygen in the air when you look at the, the ratio. So this is your measurement. So you accept. You go next. And now we're going to be at uh, how to prepare the report. So you click done. So now you have done your nine gas DG analysis completely.